Uh, I'm going to paint a picture for you. You know, it's a big game here at T-Mobile. You're out there warming up. Bullpen phone rings. You're going and you go through that door, that bullpen door. What are those feelings or emotions like for you? There's an adrenaline rush, for sure. You know, there's nothing like coming in to close a game and this crowd starts to get up off their feet and, and really start to start to clap and you get the Jimi Hendrix going and like with two strikes, two outs, and it, it's, pretty, it's a pretty awesome feeling. And, you know, these fans have been nothing but supportive on the field, off the field for us. And, and so, you know, try and punch that guy out and, and get the win and it's pretty exciting. Okay, so then compare those emotions to the emotions when you when you find out your wife has gone into labor. August last year, your wife has gone into labor. What are you feeling? Uh, nervous, nervous, uh, anxious, worried that I'm not going to get on the first flight down from Seattle, to Las Vegas, and have it very quick. Uh, I, I'd like him to too. I'd rather face the bases loaded in a game than have to worry about not getting home to your wife who's in labor. It was uh, it was a little tricky. Thank goodness for uh, for modern medicine to make sure that she postponed it until I was ready. Yeah, so you, so you made it back. I made it back. Made it back. She had a tough night without me, which is you know I'll never I'll never be able to live that down. Uh, but I was there for I was there for all the most important parts, and that's what matters most. What were those emotions like when you meet your daughter for the first time? My wife gave me trouble because I didn't cry at our wedding. She's like, you better make sure that you cry when we have our first child. And that was uh, that was not a problem. The waterworks were, you know, flying. And it's just, there's no way to express it. You just have to be in that moment and figure out exactly what that feels like to every individual of, of this is your first child. And, and it, it was unlike anything that I've ever experienced. It was, it was amazing. That's awesome. Uh, talk to me about uh, Seawald Strikeouts for Kids. Your daughter, obviously, the impetus for you wanting to do this. Yes. So we had Chloe last year, and you know, my wife and I realized that we we're at a position where we can give back. Now, you know, we've always been in a position, but it just really felt like this was the first time that we had a cause that really meant a lot to us. And you know, you know, it costs a lot of money and yes. a lot of time and a lot of effort to raise a child. And we oh, we are so lucky that we have you know endless resources and and you know Molly's been breastfeeding, so we haven't had to face the formula shortage. And we've just been very very fortunate with everything. And it just occurred to us that not, not nearly as many people are as fortunate as us. And what can we do to give back to people who are in the same position but don't have the resources? And, and we went to try and figure out, okay, well, who in Seattle really can do this? And Eastside Baby Corner is the best in town. They're just absolutely fantastic. They, they have, their process is down to the T of detail. And it's, it's an amazing scene to watch when they, when they start to unload uh, packages for families. And it, it's amazing. And we're just so thankful that we, that we got together with them and that they're doing such good work and that we can help we can help facilitate that work a little bit better. If folks want to get involved, how can they? So go to my social media pages. Uh, it's Paul Seawald on Twitter, Paul Seawald on Instagram. I have my Pledge It account in my bio. If you go to my Pledge It account, you can pledge for you know a one-time donation. You can pledge for every strikeout that I have, whatever you want to do. If you make a pledge in June, you have a chance that Molly and I will pick you to be a ticket recipient, that you'll get four tickets to a July home game of your choice. And um, we just want to get as many people to donate as possible. It's, it's an amazing cause. And you know, anyone anyone who donates could also get tickets to a Mariners game. That's kind of the bonus. So I like to, I like to say everyone benefits when I strike people out. The Mariners benefit, we benefit, and now kids benefit.